cut your chicken into small bite-sized pieces. If you have the chicken partially frozen, it cuts so much easier than when it's soft. Cut the long way across your chicken, turn it, and then bring it into your bite-sized pieces. For this recipe, we're using two boneless, skinless chicken breasts. The choice of meat is yours. Dark meat on chicken, turkey even, but it also works well for pork or for beef. chicken into the dishwasher. We have our cut up chicken. We have a bowl here of cornstarch. We have a bowl here with egg and milk. And we have another cornstarch bowl here, but this has been seasoned with ground black pepper, garlic, and ginger. Take a piece of chicken. Into the cornstarch. We have wet chicken, so we put it into a dry cornstarch mixture. Then we take the chicken and we dip it into the egg and milk wash, get the extra off, and then that goes into our seasoned flour mix. Coat it well, shake off the excess, and then onto the rack to set. chicken into the cornstarch, shake off the excess, into the milk wash, into the seasoned cornstarch, give it a light coating, shake off the excess and onto your rack. Continue until you've completed all of the chicken pieces. It'll just take you a couple moments and then they'll be ready to go. Cornstarch, shake off the excess, milk wash, and flavored seasoned cornstarch. Here we have our chicken morsels all breaded, ready to go. They've been setting up on the rack for a few minutes, so the coating will be fixed. We have hot oil in the pan, heating to 350, use a thermometer. And we have a rack on the other side uh, for draining the chicken morsels when they come out of the hot fat. Okay, coming up on 350, going to drop the fire down a little bit just to maintain. We're going to turn this around so that the thermometer is not in the way to knock the oil off the stove and I can still watch the thermometer to maintain the temperature. With our dirty tongs we will pick up a couple pieces of chicken and drop them into the oil. We'll do them a few at a time so it doesn't drop the oil temperature too fast. And 
And we're just going to cook these until they get a nice golden brown. And over onto our draining rack here. As always, when you're dealing with hot grease, be very, very careful. If you splash it on yourself, you can't get it off until it cools off and it's a bad burn. Chicken nuggets coming out. Go on to the draining rack. Turn the fire off and wait until that is cooled okay, enough to finish this paper. dish. We prepared our vegetables. We have sliced carrots thin on the diagonal. We have onions, green peppers of multiple colors pineapple and our chicken morsels. On the back here we have our sweet and sour sauce which we have prepared earlier. The wok is heating. We we'll give it a little bit of oil. The longest cooking are the carrots. They'll go in first. little pepper, little salt, and we'll just stir fry these carrots for a couple minutes until they start to soften. Okay, we'll add our onions. Break the onions up into their little rings.
we don't want the vegetables to get too soft. We want to have just a little bite to them, but we don't want them really crisp. If you have to crunch on them, it takes away from it, but you want something that you can feel you're biting into. We'll add our green peppers. And this we will stir fry for about five minutes and everything will come together just about the same time. It is a colorful dish even without the sauce. We're still stir frying a little bit, just kind of wait until the carrots get a little bit softer. Kind of like an al dente for pasta, we're going to go al dente for carrot here. Okay, our veggies are just about done. Just starting to get a little caramel color, so that's about time to move on here. In goes the pineapple. We're not really going to cook the pineapple, we're just putting it in to warm it a little bit. And in go our morsels. And we add our sweet and sour sauce. And we just stir to combine these, and I'm going to drop the heat off. Enough heat in the wok to heat all this through. There you have it, sweet and sour chicken. Lovely colors, lovely to the eye, lovely to the tummy.